Have you ever found yourself questioning why certain people show up when you're at your lowest, only to disappear when life gets better? As we age, loneliness can draw us to people who may not always have our best interests at heart, sometimes even manipulators or emotional abusers. But here's the good news. This doesn't have to be your story. Today, we're sharing seven crucial insights that can help you protect your emotional well-being, take back control of your life, and embrace your later years with the dignity and joy you deserve. Ready to explore how you can make these golden years truly yours? Let's dive in. Insight 1. Trust must be earned, not freely given. As we navigate later stages in life, many of us yearn for meaningful connections, which can make us vulnerable to those who don't have our best interests at heart. It's a hard truth, but loneliness can sometimes make us overlook red flags and invite people into our lives who may only be around when they see a benefit. Trust, especially in our later years, should be something others earn, not something we give away easily. When we recognize patterns in our relationships, we can see if someone is genuinely there for us or if they're drawn to our struggles. By learning to trust carefully, we build healthier connections and protect our emotional well-being. Insight 2. Boundaries are essential. Setting boundaries is one of the most powerful acts of self-care we can take. Not everyone deserves access to our hearts and minds, and we don't have to feel guilty about saying no to those who aren't acting in our best interests. Boundaries are a form of self-respect, allowing us to nurture relationships that uplift rather than drain us. Boundaries aren't about cutting people off at the first sign of trouble. They're about creating healthy limits that protect our emotional health. Think of each boundary as a way of reinforcing the value you place on your well-being. Insight 3. Stop living to please others. Have you spent a lifetime putting others' needs ahead of your own? For many of us, family expectations can feel like an invisible weight. We give so much of ourselves to our children, our partners, or our grandchildren that we can forget to live for our own happiness. But let's ask a powerful question. Are we living for others or are we living for ourselves? Caring for family doesn't mean neglecting ourselves. It's okay to say, I've given enough. Now it's my time. Your worth is not tied to how much you do for others, and it's perfectly acceptable even necessary to start prioritizing your own joy. Insight 4. Let go of toxic relationships, even if they're family. We're often told that family is everything, but what if that bond comes at the expense of your mental health? Many of us tolerate emotional abuse or manipulation under the belief that we should put family first. But real love respects and uplifts it doesn't tear down. If certain family members are causing harm to your peace and well-being, creating distance isn't selfish. It's an act of self-care. Imagine setting boundaries that allow you to live free from emotional turmoil. It doesn't mean you're abandoning family. It means you're choosing to prioritize your own mental and emotional health. If these insights are speaking to you, let us know in the comments. What's resonating most and how will you use these ideas in your life? And if you're finding this video valuable, please consider sharing it with someone who could use a reminder to prioritize their well-being. Insight 5. Stop waiting for validation from others. Think about all the times you've gone out of your way for others, hoping that they'd recognize or appreciate your efforts. It's natural to want validation, but attaching your self-worth to others' appreciation can lead to disappointment. People may never fully understand the sacrifices you've made. Your worth isn't tied to their acknowledgement. Instead, learn to validate yourself, feeling proud of your choices and actions because they were the right ones for you, not because someone else said so. Shifting your mindset this way can bring tremendous freedom and help you find joy in your own accomplishments without waiting for others to give you value. Insight 6. Your age is not an excuse not to change. Many people believe they're too old to change. But that belief can trap us in a cycle of resignation, closing us off to new experiences and personal growth. Each year of life brings with it unique insights, resilience, and opportunities. There's no age limit on discovering new passions, picking up hobbies, or creating a life that excites you. Our life experiences equip us to adapt and transform, even in later years. Embracing change isn't about becoming someone different. It's about allowing the person you've become to keep growing. Your age is not a barrier, it's an asset. Insight 7. Balance is key, including in your personal comforts. One final, often unspoken insight. Balance in all things, including our personal comforts, is essential to a fulfilling life. For example, even in habits that bring comfort, like daily routines or personal habits, too much dependence can sometimes mask loneliness or dissatisfaction. Taking breaks to explore new activities like hobbies, 
Time with friends or learning something new helps bring a richness and joy to life that habits alone may not. Balance opens us up to new experiences, creating a sense of well-being and harmony across all aspects of our lives. Thank you for joining us today. What insight resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments and let us know how you'll start applying these lessons to your life. If this video inspired you, please like, share, and subscribe. Every small action helps us bring these essential conversations to our growing community. Life is a journey of growth, balance, and joy. By taking these lessons to heart, you're not just moving through life, you're choosing to live with purpose, resilience, and dignity. Embrace your journey, take bold steps forward, and believe in the incredible possibilities that await you. Thank you for being part of this conversation. And remember, each step you take is a step toward the vibrant life you truly deserve.